morning everybody good to see you again <clears throat> after being quiet for a, a month or two you might have thought that um, I disappeared but I didn't I'm still here so first of all for everybody that's out there everybody that follows uh, my videos my website my tours I hope you have a wonderful 2022 I do wish that it is better than 21 um, 21 was still very taxing on all of us uh, but I think 2022 is going to be a turning point in what we understand as normal and I think we'll get back to normal fairly quickly there are countries in the world that is already moving towards COVID just being an annual thing and the sooner we get to that the better that being said, I had a great trip with a great group um, out to the gorillas this year. Um, we had a lot of fun, uh, interesting times with this whole COVID thing. I won't go into detail. It's just um, things that happen to you on a 30, 31 day tour is, is always amazing. You, you meet new people, you experience new things and life is just good. Traveling around in Africa is really fun. It's, uh, it's, it's easier than you think. But I guess you still need a little bit of insight into the nooks and crannies of the workings of the system. But yeah, otherwise, have a great 2022. Um, I trust you stay healthy and um, do your own research on COVID. Don't listen to media outlets and what they say. Um, do your own research. Make sure you understand how you deal with these things. If you decide not to do the vaccine, it's cool. But make sure that you understand exactly where you are. Don't listen to the news to give you that information. Read the papers, do the research, and uh, then your choices are your choices. I do hope everybody stays safe. And with that said, let's get on with 2022. I said last year that I think um, I would like to do 22 as more of a celebration of, um, of life because we really have a great area to tour in. And... Um, I want to quickly go through three of the routes that is uh, going to be available and um, the one I just added this morning so it is new the other two you might have seen already uh, firstly Kukuland Namibia is fully booked uh, so no more bookings for that one primates and Serengeti also um, fully booked so no more bookings on that one then in um, in July we are going out to Botswana. Now this is the new tour that I just added in. It's very much the same as my Botswana Blitz. And for those guys who've missed out on Botswana Blitz last year, um, this is going to be the one repl that replaces that one. I added an extra night, so it's eight nights instead of seven. So you'll see the price has gone up. Uh, it's eight nights instead of seven, and it just makes the traveling a little bit easier. So if you're interested in Botswana, you've never been on a trip, you don't know how these things work, you're a little bit scared to go on longer tours and you want to do something that, that gives you like an entry basic understanding of how overlanding works and how traveling with myself works, then Botswana Blitz is always one of those good entry points. Um, for one, it's a great trip. And um, if we go into the, it's on the website so you can have a look yourself. Um, but if we go down to the, um, the itinerary is there, the rough itinerary, uh, if we go down to the map, then we start at Kamarana Sanctuary, which is a normal starting point for me. Then I go up to um, Kubo Island for the day. Then I sleep in or in Ordi Camp in um, Maun for the night. And that is just to make the day a little bit shorter, make it more comfortable, get in for some shopping in the afternoon. The next morning you can do flights over the Delta if you feel like it. Um, I, there's enough time to do that. And then around about lunchtime, we head out to our campsite for the next three nights. And for those three nights, it's game viewing, it's boat ride, it's Miremi, it's um, the different areas of Miremi that we'll visit. Um, I normally visit the Blackpool Kini area, uh, which is always great for game viewing. So we look, do a little bit of Miremi stuff. And um, then once we're done with that, we basically travel up to... Um, to just outside of Savuti, where we camp for, for a night. So it gives us a nice short day through Savuti. We enjoy what's out there, have lunches and coffee stops and see what's what's in the area. 
And then the, the last day is really the river section that I drive on the Chobi, um, uh, Chobi National Park. Normally I would sleep two nights in Kasane, but it's been working for me to go through from, um, from the left hand side, from the Ngoma gate side through to Kasane for the day. Um, it has been working for me. I've, uh, I find that we have a bit more time to do our thing and we can travel the full length of the riverfront. Um, from the left side to the right side and you can see how the, the riverfront changes so i think it's a great tour it's one of those that if you haven't done botswana then this is the one to do it's easy you can do it with a cooler box if you want to. you don't really need all the kit so if you have a 4x4 and you have a tent then join me if you need to pack something in my freezer we pack it in my freezer but uh, make sure that you join this trip then the other one going out is the Richtersveld and Amakwa 4x4 route. This is going to be 20th of August uh, 2022. It's an eight night route. It's well priced. We do um, from, uh, it's the normal route that, that you would have seen if you've seen me uh, advertise it before. Um, we start in Kakamas, we do a little bit of wine tasting. We do Kleinpella, we do the 4x4 Namakwa route. Um, we go through the back routes onto the Richtersveld and then two nights at the Whoop and a night in Kokerboom Kloof. And then when we're done, we head out to Springbok for our last night. Uh, a lovely tour. It really is great. And in August, it's a great time to do it because the flowers are there and um, you have the best of all worlds uh, when you go into the area. And then directly after that, the last night of Richtersveld is the first night of Namakwa. And we're basically just doing that flower section, the coastal section. It's also on the website. So we start in Springbok and then through all Skilpad flower section, down to the uh, coastal section. We camp there for the night, then down on the coastal region to look at more flowers. And then towards the Friendberg area, we camp there for a night. Then we are up into the Cedarberg Mountains for two nights. And then we head out um, towards Golfinia for the last night. Um, also a lovely trip you can link the two which will give you a, a really nice tour um, in the flower season for the cape and um, yeah always a great one to do so if you haven't done the Richtersveld do the Richtersveld if you haven't done the flowers then do the flowers um, if you have time to do both just do both I'll give you a little bit of discount if you do both together um, but yeah it's it's a great trip to do it's a very enjoyable one and I try to book out campsites as far as I can to, to make it a bit more special and a bit more private. But um, that is it for, um, for the trips. I'm adding more trips as I go. I'm busy with it at the moment. Um, COVID is creating a little bit of headaches for me still. I don't want to cross too many borders except if it's a big tour like the gorillas coming up now in May, June. Um, so I'm trying to keep the trips so that if you have to test it might only be once or things like that now things will change obviously and the further we go in the year at, at some point testing on the borders are going to disappear and we'll be back into the normal routine so um yeah keep an eye on it i will keep sending out videos of of new tours coming up um, but yes there's a malawi happening shortly there's a zambia happening shortly uh, the bats um, that one so there's a few things that's going to happen shortly. But as I say, I just want to give it some time to, to see where this COVID thing is going. Uh, for example, if I want to do Zambia and Malawi together, it's, it's a great trip, but it, it means we have issues with testing. And I, I don't want to commit to that too soon. So um, those type of trips are on their way, but I just want to hold back a little bit. So you'll see my... My trips for the year only shows five. I have another one that's not shown on there that's also fully booked, but there will be more in the next month or two as I figure out what I want to do and how I want to do it. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Very important, if there's something that you want to do um, or want me to work a, uh, on a plan, send me an email and say, gee, we really think you should be doing... Um, the Bavians Kloof and combine it with this or that or the other. Give me some ideas. I work on trips. You'll see it suddenly pops up on the website. There's a trip that you always wanted to do and you can do it. So um, please let me know if there's anything that you want to do. Otherwise, as I said, have a great 2022 and stay safe, stay healthy 
and let's go traveling again. Cheers.